Hi, welcome to a, uh, another photo link uh, video. Uh, this one is be going to be on using um, uh, or creating uh, uh, digital art from your photographs using GIMP and uh, uh, Photo Sketcher. Um, to start Photo Sketcher, uh, what you do is you click on the icon. This one's going to be on usage of uh, Photo Sketcher. You just present it with a splash screen. And uh, then what happens is the Photo Sketcher program appears. Uh, wonderful piece of software. I suggest highly you download it um, and uh, work with it uh, for using this type of effect in GIMP. It, it'll, it'll save you a lot of time and it really brings out some wonderful effects. What you basically have is you have uh, three items in a menu across the top. Um, and then what you have is you have a set of buttons. Uh, this one at the end is um, the coffee cup is a donation uh, to the site. Uh, I would highly recommend that because the guy has uh, spent a lot of time uh, creating this program. Um, that's David. And uh, he's done a wonderful job. And uh, to throw something like this on the market as freeware is a wonderful thing to do. And um, I strongly suggest you contribute. But anyways, you have a set of ro row of icons at the top. Uh, this one right here is open a picture as uh, a source. This is save a drawing. Uh, this one right here is copy the drawing to the clipboard. This is uh, paste the image or the source image from the clipboard. This one right here is modify the source image. Uh, this one is uh, revert to the original image. And uh, this one is to bring up drawing parameters. Uh, add text to the image, printer dialog, uh, information, and help. Um, these over here are resizing the image uh, to fit the screen or smaller or larger, whichever you choose to do. First thing that we're going to do here is we're going to open a picture. And this is the one we've been using, so we're going to open that up. And when that becomes, this uh, drawing parameters window automatically opens. We'll dismiss it for the moment. But what you have here is you have your source image here and you have the image that um, is the resultant image here of uh, the operations that are performed by Photo Sketcher. Uh, here what we have is we have a slide bar where we can go back and forth and expose more of either the source image or expose more of the, uh, of, uh, the image after the effects have been applied. What we can do is we can come up in here to our edit window and we can resize our source image, uh, basically keeping our aspect ratio by changing one of these, they'll both change, or doing the uh, width and height individually. Um, or uh, we can uh, you know, take it to a desktop size. Uh, but what we do here is if we click on this uh, palette icon, if you notice everything has tooltips, uh, very good programming. Um, what we do is we click on these drawing parameters and what we get is we get a dialog that appears. Uh, in this dialog, uh, this drawing style, he has uh, three pencil sketch effects, uh, a pen and ink sketch effect, uh, six painting effects, uh, stylized effects, miscellaneous effects, okay, and um, at the bottom he has no effect for frame and texture and text only. Um, working with GIMP, I prefer not to add a frame, but uh, you can add frames, and he has realistic frames and colored frames and of you know various types of frames here, <coughs> with a controllable margin, which is very nice. Um, what he also has here is um, three different type of textures: light, uh, normal, or strong texture. I prefer after I've assembled all the images and stuff to uh, put my texture in in GIMP because uh, there are plugins and so forth that allow uh, greater degrees of flexibility on that feature. So for now I'm going to turn texture off and turn frame off. Now uh, what you can do here is you can select a style like here uh, pencil sketch uh, 3 color um, I think is very much you might want to rename that to chalk. Uh, it's a beautiful effect but uh, what you do is if you want to apply the effect after you have um, set the settings, you just uh, click draw it. 
And what it does is, is it, um, um, you know, applies your effects to this second window. If you want to bring this drawing dialog back up, uh, you just click on this, uh, the palette. Um, if you want to revert to your original image, you just click on uh, that arrow. But what we can do is we can bring this up. Pencil Sketch 3. Uh, if I want to make it a little bit more intense in the color, or like, let's say, <coughs> increase the saturation, um, use this color intensity slider. If I want to um, lighten it or darken it, uh, what I can do is um, vary this slider uh, to lighten or darken. A stroke length of the effect, I can uh, basically, with this slider, edge intensity and edge threshold, I can do it with there. And here I have that chalk type drawing. If I click, um, <coughs> if I click draw it. Now, in addition, if you're working with a lot of um, pictures that are the same, you can save the parameters or you can load parameters or reset parameters to factory default uh, with these uh, three up here. Um, so what you can also do is then quite easily switch effect if we want to go to watercolor and uh, what we can do is we can draw it and now it is watercolor effect and what you can basically do is you can uh, work with um, you know the parameters that are affected that, that affect the watercolor effect like the uh, like let's say here the strokes and intensity what will happen is down in this preview window you'll see a preview of the effect that's about to be applied and if you draw it it will change accordingly to the effects that you wish to uh, apply um, in additionally in addition uh, what you can do is you can um, um, hit F12 like here what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here to pencil sketch three and we're going to go with a lighter effect whatever we choose to do here we're going to say draw it now if we hit f12 your drawing becomes the source window wait a minute there's an f11 no Yeah, F12, excuse me. Now what you can do is you can apply effects based along those lines. So if I want to do a watercolor of basically my pastel, I can do it. So you can get a compounding of effects uh, type of, uh, of uh, an arrangement. So now what we've done, in other words, is we've taken the pastel, made it the source image, and then made a watercolor based on the past now. <coughs> okay, well, thank you for watching. In uh, the next uh, video, what we intend to do is uh, intend to use this extensively in GIMP. This is a wonderful program, and I, I, I really hope that you'll download it and use it and contribute to his site. Um, his site, again, is www.photosketch, um, that's F-O-T-O, S-K-E-T-C-H-E-R, photosketcher.com. And uh, please visit my site, www.photolink.com, um, for more photo photographic training um, and uh, videos. Thank you.